Hi guys, welcome back to our online service. My name is Shaila Jali. My name is Amanda and today we will be introducing you to our online activities. We will be having crafts, Bible stories, singing, dancing and many more. Hoping you will enjoy the service. Imagine. Okay. I clap your hands like this, everyone. Broken heart is the power. Yeah, God. 
Don't forget to pray for all the children in the world. The sun comes up. It's a new day dawn. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me. Let me be doing what's it. When the evening comes. Everybody sing. The up, it's a new day dawn. It's time to sing. It's time to sing. Whatever may pass. And whatever lies before me. Let me be doing what? Let me be singing when the evening comes. We lift our hands together. Bless the Everybody like this. Oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never. Sing like. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. I'll worship his holy name. One more time. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Say. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh. Worship his holy name. Worship his holy name. Sing like never. Sing like never before. Oh my soul. I'll worship his holy name. One more time the sun comes up. Say. It's a new day dawn. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me. Let me be singing when the evening comes. Lift your voice and say. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship his holy name. Sing, sing those words one more time from your heart. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, say, bless. Sing like never, sing like never before. Oh my soul, I'll worship His holy name. I'll worship His holy name. Say, I'll worship His holy name. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Kiss Him, my champion. Celebrate Jesus. We are grateful, O oh, oh Lord, this morning, O oh God. And we want to thank you, O oh God, for your mercies and your grace. And that is our desire this morning, O oh God, to worship and to praise you, O oh God, as your children, O oh God. We say thank you for everything that you have done unto us, O oh God. We want to thank you, O oh God, even for our lives. I want to thank you, O oh God, because of the lives of these children, O oh God. Thank you because they are in your house, O oh God. They have come to worship you this morning, O oh God, and declare that you are God and you deserve all the praises and the honor. We lift your name and we praise you this morning. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. One more time, celebrate Jesus! Celebrate Jesus!
Good morning, children. Good morning, parents. It's a beautiful morning. It's warm. And we thank God for the opportunity to share his word. This morning, I want to review some of the lessons we have learned in Sunday school for the last three months, right from January, February, and March. First, if you attend our Kisima Champion cl classes, I'd like you to type or to answer for me, what have you been learning in Sunday school for the last three months? Okay. And before we begin and continue in many things, I'd like you to open your Bibles in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3. And I'll read from verse 14 to 17. Okay. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14 to 17. I read. You can follow along the, the screens. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of, because you know those from whom you learned it. Timothy was being taught by Paul, and he was being encouraged to practice the lessons that he learned from his, his mom, his grandma. He was being taught to follow the Word of God. And even for you children, I want to encourage you this morning, the things we've been teaching you, the things we'll teach you this year, remember them, practice them, don't forget them. Verse 15, let's read verse 15 together. And from infancy, you have known the Holy Scriptures, okay, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. The Bible of words. Well, what does it mean to be wise? Okay, if you know the answer to that question, please answer it for me. The Bible tells us that wisdom or being wise is fearing God. Not being scared of God, no, no, no. Obeying Him, revering Him, worshiping Him. Fearing God gives you wisdom and it makes you holy. And so the Bible that we'll be talking about for January, February, and March helps you to fear God, helps you to respect God, helps you to obey God. So in January, we talked about walk through the Bible, looking at the books of the Bible, looking at how the Bible is divided. And in February, we looked at the Bible itself, you know? The Old Testament has how many books? You can tell. The New Testament has how many books? You can also tell who wrote the first four books, or the first five books of the of the Old Testament. You can tell me that. Those are the lessons we learned February. In March, we began lessons about Easter. Okay, we learned about the entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. On our okay, what was Jesus riding on? He 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 didn't enter Jerusalem on a car. He, he, he rode on an animal. What is the name of that animal? Then what happened in Jerusalem? What did Jesus do in the temple? What, did, what happened there? Then later we see Jesus being taken up and crucified. We had Easter Sunday and we celebrated, and we celebrated his resurrection. Last Sunday we were looking at his ascension to heaven, okay? Where he promises us that he's going to create, he's going to make a place for everyone who believes in him. That one day he will stay with them, in heaven, with them in heaven forever. These are some of the lessons that we've learned in the last three months. Now let's go back to our Bible text. If you read verse 16, all scripture, I want you to say that, all scripture, everything written in the Bible is called a scripture. Is God read. He's written by God. And is useful for what? Let's go. Teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. So when you read your Bible, you will be corrected. You know, if you take people's things without permission, you'll be told, stop stealing. That is correction. You know, train. You're trained to love God. You're trained to worship God. You're trained to obey God. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 says, children, obey your, ch your, your, your parents, for this is right. You know, that is a teaching. So the Bible is useful for teaching us, for training us, for correcting us, for rebuking us. And so this is a verse that I would like you to memorize this week. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Remember it. Don't forget about it. Verse 17, so that the servant of God, the child of God, you child of God, may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. I love doing good work. I love doing, living my life right. And if I want to continue doing that, I must know the Bible. And so I want to encourage you to remember these verses and to also remember some of the lessons that we taught you. Next week, we begin a new brand series looking at the Bible, 
But now into details, and we begin right in the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis. And another teacher, teacher Isaac, will be teaching us from next Sunday. So have a wonderful Sunday. Have a good week. We pray that you enjoy your school holiday, and God bless. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hoping you will enjoy the service. See you next time. Bye.